La la la. So that's it, I gotta go back, go back through the fucking zombies. <sighs> Fuck you too. I pressed, dude, you're supposed to press the action button X when they're about to bite you. That's exactly what I'm doing, it doesn't work. <laughs> Dead. What the fuck? There's too many fucking zombies, man. What the hell? Seriously, why are there so many fucking zombies? There hasn't been this many zombies in, in the first two games at all, ever. It's the insane amount of zombies. Oh, shut up. I don't want to see the intro cutscene. <laughs> shut up. Stupid game. Intro cutscene. Thanks. Resident Evil. Like I don't remember what I'm playing. This is this is seriously not like the last two games. What? I didn't want to do that. Oh my god. This is not like the last two games. The last two games were about saving your ammo. Oh, by the way, look, the memo's still here because I never read it because I died. Remember? All right, let's go through this. All right, let's see what happens. Stars. Oh, okay. Instant death. Nice. Well, that was fun. Shall we? Okay, three shotgun blasts, he completely ignored them and killed me anyway. Okay then. Are you kidding me? The dog ate me. What the fuck? How much damage did they do? <laughs> that was stupid as shit. That was really fucking stupid. By the way, I tried to shoot the barrel, instead she auto-aimed for the dog. <clears throat> oh. That's bullshit! That is bullshit. Dude, I can't give it a turn. I'm dead. I'm dead because I couldn't get to the door because of the tank controls. <laughs> that was bullshit, of course. I was holding... The, the problem is I was using the left thumbstick instead of using the D-pad. Who are these assholes? Oh, yeah. Fuck is this? Wait a minute, what is this? Oh my god! It was an explosive thing on the wall, it insta killed me! <laughs> oh man! This is impossible! Fuck this! This is impossible! What the fuck do they want me to do? Obviously there's a way to do it, and I don't know how to do it. <sighs> Look how dead I am. I can't even move now. I'm done. Look. Oh my god! Dead. Dude, two of them came out of the wall. Did you see that? Two enemies came out of the wall. So now I gotta go all the way back and do all that shit over because the game is fucking stupid. It doesn't give me any ink ribbons. Wow. That was incredibly fucking dumb and I have to redo about a half an hour's worth of gameplay because there's no ink ribbons.
I never had this problem with Resident Evil 1 or 2. Only 3 do I have this problem with Ink Ribbons. Resident Evil. Garbage. I don't even want to... Oh my god, no, I don't want to fucking do that. I can't believe I gotta redo all this. Oh my god. Uh oh. What the fuck? Look at this. He's on fire and he's pissed. This isn't good. Wait a minute, I can move. Oh fuck. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to shoot him, right? And all I have is the shotgun. I'm infected with the virus. What the hell does that mean? Uh oh. Oh, get up! Oh. Carlos has a gun. I have to get to that gun, I think. Right? No! Great, I'm dying. Are you serious? I died! What am I supposed to fucking do? Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> There's no way to know what you're supposed to do. What the fuck? So I gotta redo stuff because I have no clue how to do this. Oh, terrible bullshit. There's no way to know what to do. And now he's dead. He doesn't get up this time. Aw, oh, boo. <laughs> Here we go. And grab. Get up, get up! Although she can't get away, it's bullshit. Get up! What the fuck? I'm dead again. Yup, look at this. Wow, this is a fun fight. <laughs> oh, this is a fun fight. I did a 180 turn and ran and still got grabbed anyway. Great. Uh, never had this problem with the first two games. Resident Evil. First two games was easily able to beat everything. This game, nope. Oh, look. Now replay another 10 minutes. Great. Uh. Unskippable cutscene. Oh, I mashed everything and it skipped the cutscene. Oh shit. Alright, here we go. Fire? What the fuck? Get up! Look at that. What, what do you want me to do? I have to use health here. I died already? He only hit me twice! He only hit me twice and I died. <laughs> he only hit me twice and I died. From full health to death. Two hits. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck were they thinking with this game? <laughs> this is fucking terrible. This is seriously bad. Resident Evil. You can never get a clear shot because every time you get a clear shot, he's going to grab you. He's too fast. 
The dodge isn't consistent, so you can't consistently dodge his attacks. And he kills you with two hits. Good. Ah, this game's great. <laughs> oh my god. This is fucking terrible. What did they do to this poor game? It's fucking terrible, man. Are you fucking serious? I'm dead. I'm dead. Killed me. <laughs> you saw how many magnum rounds I put in him? Did you see how many magnum rounds I put in him? And he still survived. Oh my god. Damn. Thank god I dodged. That was close. That was almost bad. Fucking hunters. What? I was not near that barrel. Are you fucking serious? I gotta redo all of that gameplay in the park. I was not near the barrel. Fuck this. Dude, this game, this is the second fucking time playing this game that there's a huge span of gameplay with no save points available. Second fucking time, dude. This game is nowhere near as good as the first two. I'm sorry to say, I don't like it as much as the first two games. When in the first two games were there cheap instant deaths like that, an entire span of a half an hour of gameplay with no fucking saves? What the fuck? Now I gotta seriously redo the whole fucking part. What? Complete bullshit. Complete fucking bullshit. Oh, it's fucking terrible, dude. Now it's a dog? They changed the fucking thing to a dog. What the fuck? Dude, she won't even aim for the dog. And I'm dead. <laughs> Random enemy spawns, so you can't actually uh, plan how you're supposed to get through the areas because the enemies are random in areas. This is terrible compared to the last two games. Look at that. Cheap hit. A cheap fucking hit. I was pressing X so I couldn't dodge it. I'm dead! Are you kidding me? You gotta be fucking kidding! This is bullshit! This is complete bullshit! What the fuck were they thinking with this game? This is terrible! <laughs> yes, instant decapitation! Fuck this game! Oh my god! Complete garbage! What the fuck? Now there's a zombie here? This is completely different too! Dude, I can't even get past the zombie and I'm dead. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding? It's all random. There's no consistency to it. Just look. I didn't know that I had to bring the hell keep more healing items with me now either, which is garbage. Ugh. Oh, 
I hit the valve doesn't work. I'm dead. Look, the acid didn't even come out that time. <laughs> uh, well, now I know I need more healing items, which I had no fucking clue. Kills me! <laughs> it killed me! It shot me in the face! What the fuck? Wow. Well, now I know what to do, but that was fucking stupid. That was completely stupid. Uh Trial and error. La 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 Raccoon City got blown the fuck up. Oh no, you got blown up, son. You got blown up live on stream. Ah. <laughs> what an ending. What an ending. And that's it for Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I finally experienced it. Well, if you watch the whole playthrough, I'm pretty sure that you know my thoughts on the game. I really do feel like this game was kind of uh, phoned in. It does not feel like the other two Resident Evils. There's a lot of things they added to the game that definitely make it much worse, including random enemy spawns, exploding barrels and bombs on walls that kill you instantly for no fucking reason. They don't belong there. Actually reusing some of the locations of Resident Evil 2. I just think that the, uh, the first two games executed much better on the survival horror kind of classic formula. From what people are telling me, this was not even supposed to be Resident Evil 3. This was supposed to be a spin-off called Nemesis or Last Escape, depending on where you, you know, you were located in the world. But Resident Evil Code Veronica, which was supposed to be Resident Evil 3, had its development held up significantly, and therefore they said, well, let's release this one as Resident Evil 3, even though it is incredibly similar to 2 with a few weird changes. And, uh, and then Code Veronica came out and became its own thing. In fact, from what people are saying, Mikami, Shinji Mikami, only produced it, did not actually design the game. So I could definitely tell, you could tell by playing the differences between it and that it's definitely not as well polished as the first two games. But at the same time, it's got its own charm, it's got its own uh, kind of classic vibe to it. I did like it overall, despite the fact there were some really annoying parts in it, I did like it. <clears throat> so anyway, I would like to say, thanks very much. Yeah, see, here's the, see, the director was Kazuhiro Oyama, not Shinji Mikami. But I would like to say thanks very much for you guys for tuning in. Whether if it was live on stream on Twitch or if it was on YouTube. Uh, I'm glad now that I have now officially played every Resident Evil game that is a numbered entry. There's still a few I haven't played, like Resident Evil Zero, Resident Evil Code Veronica. So there are a few great of... Ah, fuck you. Wait a minute, whoa, is that... Whoa, I want to know. Is that Carlos? Is Carlos spooning there? Is he, is he cupping uh, Jill? Or is that Jill's arm? I think that's Carlos. He's copping a feel right there. But anyway, so that is it for Resident Evil 3. The great of F.